journey to the Maliao Basin had not gone smoothly. Pretty bent. By the end of it, my bike wasn't even roadworthy. I hitched a ride to the next town where I got more bad news. I can repair this motorcycle, but we don't have part. If I can get you one of these, you can fix it. Yes. Ducati, this is Ducati Malaysia? Great, hi, yeah, this is Jamie Dempsey. I've run into a bit of a problem. Actually, kind of a big problem. All right, good news and bad news. The good news is, is they can get the part here. The bad news is, it's gonna be two or three days. So that's gonna put me way behind schedule. I'm a little disappointed, but I'm just gonna take that time and see what other things I can get into. After all, it wouldn't be an adventure. Samporna is a coastal town, and life here has been built around the sea for generations. The area has some of the world's highest marine biodiversity and attracts divers from across the globe. So I decided to check out some of the area's islands and maybe do a bit of diving myself. My first destination was Mabu Island, a 30-minute speedboat ride away. Ah, look at this place. Awesome. I found a local dive master, Amabul, named Shahir, who offered to give me a tour of the surroundings. But it's beautiful out here on the water. Yes, it is, always. I can't really tell how deep it is right here, because it looks shallow, because I can see all the way down. It's about five to six meters. I've seen a lot of these boats around the islands. Are they fishermen? They are bajalaut, or in English, it's called gypsies. Gypsies? Sea, sea gypsies, yeah. The bajalaut are sea nomads who spend most of their lives on small boats in the area. Legend has it that when a princess went missing, her sultan ordered his men to set sail and find her or never return. They never found her, and so they and their descendants have wandered the seas ever since. Can we get a little closer? Yeah, sure. Captain! I mean, I've seen houseboats before, but this is nothing like <laughs> I've seen. I can't imagine growing up on a boat like that. Oh. It must be strange for them when they're on land. Yeah, it is. Because they're so used to being out here um, in the sea. Hi! Hello! What is the stick coming out of the water in front? It's the guy. What is he doing? Trying to catch him, a fish. He's not wearing a tank or a snorkel or anything. Just one breath. How Step. long can he hold his breath for? For three to five minutes. Three minutes? Five minutes? Yeah. No. I've got to see this. For generations, the Baja Laut have eaten and traded whatever they can harvest from the sea, evolving amazing freediving abilities in the process. Mabul's waters are murky. Years ago, cyanide fishing destroyed much of the area's coral, leaving the seabed bare and muddy. But it also killed the area's large predatory fish. So when the fishing stopped, a variety of small, exotic creatures took up residence. You're so fast. I want to see what you got. What is this one? Clam. It's a clam. The catch of the day included a variety of seaweed and sea cucumber. Looks delicious. Not really. <laughs> that morning, I was leaving Mabu Island and heading to Sipadan Island. It's located in the Coral Triangle, one of the ocean's most biodiverse regions. I was expecting lush coral with an amazing variety of sea creatures. Dive Master Dave brought me on my maiden dive there. Sipadan was formed by living corals and took over thousands of years to develop. Only 120 people a day are allowed to dive here, and I was one of the lucky few. So Jimmy, welcome to Sipadan Island. Um, very, very beautiful island. The topography of Sipadan is very, very different um, to any of the other islands that we've got around here, which is an extinct volcanic sea mount um, that pretty much rises like a thumb straight up from the seabed 500 meters below. And so you can see, if you look just behind you here, um, you've got Barracuda Point, out where the, the boats are. Uh -huh. 
Um, and if you, if you look at the water, um, you see it goes from turquoise to dark blue. Yeah. It literally drops from about two meters depth straight Just down to 500. Yeah. Years ago, cyanide fishing changed the ecology of the waters around some of the other islands. But Sipidan's waters are still relatively unharmed. A bed of coral holds the seabed sand in place, making the waters crystal clear. The strict limits on the numbers of divers per day has allowed over 3,000 species of marine life to flourish. My first treat was a gigantic school of jackfish. Then came baby white-tipped reef sharks. Finally, a green turtle, one of Sipidan's star attractions. Turtles are an endangered species. Sipidan is one of the few places that still has a healthy population of sea turtles. amazing diving I've ever done. Bye, Sipidan. I love you. I'm definitely going to be back. Back on Mabul Island that evening, I took a stroll in the island Suluk village. So I see a couple sitting in the back. I got a couple of chairs and they're dressed up really nice. But then there's two guys on stage singing. crashed a Suluk wedding ceremony. The ancestors of the Suluk had their own independent state, the Sulu Sultanate. Today, the Suluk are one of Sabah's distinct ethnic groups. The villagers took turns to show off their best moves. In return, the audience gave them tips that went towards the bride and groom. Hi, come dance. Go. Come dance. How did I know this was going to happen? bit of money, happy to contribute, but I'm going to get out of here before they grab me again. <laughs> After a couple of days enjoying life on some tropical islands, I headed back to the mainland to see if my bike had been fixed. Hi, Jimmy. Hey, hi, how uh, are you? I'm fine, how do you do? Great, uh, I'm so excited my baby is looking good. I uh, change this, your side mirror and shop of gear. I press this, just this. Oh, okay, uh, so you just needed to bend this back in shape and then put that in and it's good to go. Yeah. It's so <laughs> nice to have her back. <laughs> this is amazing. feels so good to be back on the road again. I can't believe how much I miss my bike. As I was in southern Sabah, the only way I could go was north. There used to be a lot more traffic on this road and the conditions are so-so but it's nothing like Malia, so I'm pretty happy. I had a lot of ground to cover to make up for lost time. However, I definitely didn't want to miss the world-famous Sapilok Orangutan Sanctuary that I was passing along the way. The sanctuary is located within the Kabili Sapilok Forest Reserve, an area with mostly virgin rainforest. The orangutans are native to Borneo, and they are among the most intelligent primates. The name orangutan is derived from the Malay words meaning person of the forest. Hello. Hello, good morning. Hi, I'm Jamie. I'm looking for Dr. Rosa. Oh, hello, hi. Um, welcome to Sepiluk Orangutan Rehabilitation Center. I had signed up as a volunteer for the day. All right, so okay. I'm going to give you uh, your stuff, your mask, your gloves, and your boots. So Orangutans share about 97% of their DNA with humans, 
so they can catch and even be killed by our diseases. The protective gear keeps human germs at bay. Okay, Dr. Okay. Rosa. Yeah, it doesn't, look, doesn't look any different with your riding boots. Yeah, yet. they match. <laughs> like humans, baby orangutans rely heavily on their mothers. So when mother orangutans are killed by poachers, loggers, or plantation owners, the center rescues their orphaned young and tries to be a mother to them. Okay, so we're gonna take one of the babies, yeah, and then we're gonna do physical exam. Just be careful because sometimes, you know, they, they can be really naughty, they can be really aggressive. <laughs> and they're quite strong, yeah? They are, they are. Even when the baby's like this, they're really, really strong. So you have to keep your alert up. Uh -huh. yeah? He doesn't want to come. <laughs> First up was a two-year-old orangutan named Peanut. Hello. Doesn't want to walk. Yeah. <laughs> so what we're gonna do? We're gonna take first the temperature. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't like this because I'm gonna poke at his behind. Oh, he's not gonna All like right. that. So I need you to handle him on this side, yeah? Just to just hold yeah, him. Yeah, you can just uh, you know um, give him a comforting. Oh, it's okay, Peanut. Okay. Yeah, hey. Good boy. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm touching a baby orangutan. Optimum. Optimum? Yeah. Good. That's good. I'm holding hands with Peanut. Now his hands are very soft. Yeah, uh huh? And he's in a good body condition. Mm-hmm. Okay. Your so body looks good. You did so good, Peanut. Next, it was time to go to school. And this way. Here we go, guys. You guys ready for playtime? Okay, so this is a jungle gym here? Yeah, jungle gym here. Ready? Oh, no, okay. <laughs> I think you're supposed to walk. You don't want to walk? Okay, so I carry this one. <laughs> you want to walk? walk? There you walk. go. Jalan, Jalan. Jalan, Jalan. Oh, okay. I'll walk. <laughs> Quite heavy for a baby. <laughs> In the wild, orangutans spend years learning to climb from their mothers. Here, these skills are taught in the jungle gym in preparation for the day when the orangutans will be released into the wild. So a lot of the times, Peanut and Bidu Bidu here will try and get off the rope and grab onto me and hold me. And I really have to resist the urge because they're so cute, but we're trying to wean them off human contact here and get them used to hanging in the trees. They are so cute playing together. <laughs> Just when I thought my day couldn't get any better, I was in for a surprise. Oh my God. Very <laughs> yeah, skilled uh, from somewhere. Oh my so God. If you, <laughs> oh, they're so cute! <laughs> the park is also home to orphan Borneo pygmy elephants. <gasps> Hello! Nice to, meet you. nice to meet you. Who's this? Jimbo. Jimbo, he's only five months. Yeah. Hello, who are you? Tuntan. Oh. One year, five months. Oh, they are so sweet. <laughs> oh, hello! <laughs> oh my god. From baby turtles to baby orangutan, to baby elephants. I'm going to die of cuteness. Okay, what can I do to help? To brush these. The I take the this and I brush him. Uh, I gotta chase him? <laughs> he doesn't want him back. Jimbo, come here, Jimbo. Jimbo. Uh oh. We don't have a choice. We have to go wherever he goes. <laughs> This is the biggest baby I've ever seen. <laughs> and just like other babies, I don't think he likes his bath. <laughs> ah. oh, I think bath time's over. We did a good job. You clean, Tutan? He's clean. <laughs>